Hi everyone, back to you here with another video. I'm really excited about this one. In this video, I'm gonna show you how can you download uh, and uh, scrap images from any website. You can uh, download all images or certain images that you look for using MATLAB. Okay, so you know that uh, there is some codes there is actually a lot of log codes that we we call uh, web scrappers or web crawlers these codes uh, automatically surface the web and uh, uh, enters websites and look for images and download images it doesn't have to be images sometimes it's like data or other stuff text uh, something like that but i am here to talk to you about image scrappers they scrap uh, images from any website uh, basically and uh, uh, the marketplaces you know stuff like that this is always very interesting to whoever work on this but the new thing about this one is that here in MATLAB I can combine the uh, uh, ability to surface the web and download images with computer vision with machine learning convolution neural network this wallet when you combine the two wallet together you have something very cool you can actually uh, tell the code which images you look for so the code can only download the images that you're interested in not all the images this is what's cool about this now I saw a lot of scrubbers some of them are good some of them are not and uh, but there is not really a lot on MATLAB a lot of them is on Python or maybe other platforms but nothing on MATLAB that is that good so this that's why I'm excited about this one this one is very good because it's on MATLAB and it's fast and uh, but of course depend on your uh, internet connection speed and stuff like that but anyway it's fast and it combines the uh, ability of MATLAB and machine learning scene and uh, uh, computer vision with the scrapper so you can download either if you want all the images it can do it or certain images of a certain uh, thing that or item you look for that that's very interesting okay so let's just start right away now the, um, the web scrapping part of the code depend on HTML analysis there is a lot of codes of analysis of the HTML you can see it even from the name of the functions here used all I made to analyze the text of an HTML and stuff like that okay but the second part for uh, this uh, this program or this code is the uh, using of a CNN which is AlexNet. Uh, AlexNet is very famous CNN. Of course, if you don't know what's AlexNet, you can Google it uh, and you can Google something called uh, ImageNet and stuff like that. You will find that there is uh, AlexNet uh, which uh, uh, is very good CNN that classifies any images, any image into one of 1000 class. So you have in an AlexNet you have uh, you have thousand class okay so let's see it right here we can load one here so let's see all the classes in an AlexNet so the classes will be the last layer right and you can see all the class you can see that thousand and this thousand is very specific actually you can you you don't have only one category let's say for cats or for dogs no you have s several categories for cats because it is actually has a specific type of cat a specific type of a dog and and so on inside this thousand category so also in this video I'm going to show you how you can modify the last layer in the analyx net and manipulate indices with classes to make a smaller but uh, number of classes with more broad uh, uh, let's say uh, more broad region more broad uh, field of images not only uh, like a certain types of cats no like let's say all cats or something like that which is which goes well with the idea of scrapping and image downloading you don't want a certain type of something but let's say a certain category so with this code also you manipulate this last layer and do this I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do this so uh, after you do this you you give it the web page you want to scrap and you will then start downloading images so let's start right away with this let's let's clear everything 
okay and start right away you have a lot of, of, of codes here functions but what you're interested in is two scripts here which is web scrap and add class alexnet this is the two th the two codes that you're gonna use and I'm gonna uh, explain them now with web scrap you basically uh, can download all the images or certain type of images you're interested in from a certain web page okay to a folder so let's make a new folder we're gonna make a new folder empty one make sure you have a new folder to save in it okay and then we're gonna uh, look for images so here for illustration I'm using this website called Shutterstock a uh, very famous uh, gallery for images and so on so we're gonna use this as an example so let's look for let's say I don't know animals maybe something like that just for illustration okay so here you go you have some images and you want to download all of them automatically so let's copy paste this link and get here and now we hit we run the code so when you run the code you see that there's classes I have created five classes one with with, with like watches this for uh, illustration of scrapping images for a certain item or a product maybe so classes uh, watch uh, a building you want images of buildings plants you want uh, image for cat or a dog or something like that also I'm gonna show you how you can using this add class alexnet create one more here one more and one more and one more so you I'm gonna show you how you can create more classes it is the same way I created those okay manipulating as I told you the last layer of alexnet so you can uh, make a new class actually you can make a class which is mixed of two classes you can actually uh, uh, and I'm going to show you how you can make cats and dogs in one classes let's call it pets and you can add cats and dogs and make here a new class of pets so you only download images of either cats or dogs okay but later for this now let's uh, use all images with all images you don't use the CNN or AlexNet you actually basic uh, like download all images basically and you don't look for a certain class okay so all the images on the page so let's uh, try this first so I hit ok all images and then it tells me select this output folder so I go for a new folder the one we created which is empty and then I am gonna pass here the link this is the link we're gonna use to scrap okay so hit enter and that's it and you can see it started downloading images you can see here the names of the images actually download being downloaded right and if we look inside the new this new folder here we're gonna see okay it is it is actually downloading images so now my internet connection is actually not that good so it's gonna take uh, some time of course but anyway we're gonna leave it so uh, at the end also you're gonna see some other file uh, CSV, uh, CSV file that you can open on Excel which has what is known as the metadata the metadata gives you the link the website and the title and the name of the images so you also with all the images have like let's say a small database or, or a metadata uh, calculated for this uh, recorded I'm sorry for this images which is very good when you want to scrap a marketplace or something like that so let's see this in reality here is the new folder we have created and here are the images being downloaded automatically from the website let's go to the website to see these images yes here you are here are the images and, and everything so everything looks cool um, and at the end you're gonna see okay all the metadata okay being downloaded so you can see it's fast it's good uh, but remember now we are downloading all images on the website everything even a logo even everything which is normal for standard uh, web scrappers that we see on the web but the nice thing about this uh, that I'm gonna show you is that we now we're gonna scrap images of a certain category right something like that and I'm gonna show you uh, that we we do not download all images but images that we care about okay okay so this is going 
okay so I'm gonna pause the video and then get back to you guys when it's about to finish okay back to you guys here with it almost finishing so here you go it fa it has finished now and it downloaded all the images on this web page and here you can see okay all the images have been saved in this new folder right okay so let's look for this metadata here you go here you have it so let's open this one and see what's going on inside and you can see inside the, the name of the image okay the, the name of the image the title describing the image all of this comes from the HTML of course description for the image you can see the website where the image comes from so this is like very useful when you want to make like let's say a database or something like that very useful in in analysis of marketplaces in image processing in making a data set for a computer vision project a lot of stuff okay um, so you can see here's the description you can see even the URL of the web page this is the URL for this web page you can use to download it again if you want and the title and everything so here you go all of them automatically saved and made for you okay that's very good now let's let's remove all of this and let's now try something else something really exciting this is a new feature now that I want to show you now let's go to the website and look for something more broad like pets okay let's say pets for pets I'm sure that's gonna be some dogs and some cats right some are dogs some are cats so let's say you are only interested in uh, in cats or let's say you are only interested in dogs uh, not the other way around now some images has both cats and dogs which is not which is not that good but um, anyway so basically if you have both of them the so you will have uh, uh, them appear when you choose either cats or dogs but anyway we're gonna say we're gonna say cats okay and we shouldn't see image like this one because it has a dog we shouldn't see this one because it has a dog and we're only interested in a cat maybe we won't also see those because you don't have a real cat or uh, inside it so this is the idea you choose certain images that you look for okay so let's take again this link okay let's run it again and now let's uh, let's say cats I'm looking for cats and say okay we're gonna again choose this new folder I have made it empty now and then we add the link say okay and here we go again we download start downloading images okay now we should only see images which has cats it should uh, automatically ignore any other images like logos or stuff like that or uh, dogs or stuff like that only cats okay so until now we see that this new folder is, is empty still yes here is one image inside it let's look inside and it's a cat very good so only images for cats okay keeps going okay scanning images you see it does not pass all images uh, like before it now has a filter which only chooses cats okay so all other images with dogs or something like that yes here you can see only cats even with what even the one which has both cats and dogs maybe we won't see them yes only cats and here only cats let's make it bigger a little bit okay so you can see it has even ignored images with dogs which is very good um, and the logos and the stuff like that all the images on the website is filtered and the only images with that clearly has a cat in it is selected that is uh, very cool about this one okay so yes here you go you have all the images only for cats and let's open the metadata and look inside and again you can see all the, the stuff, the image, the website, the title, the URL and stuff like that right? very good 
now if I make the other way around and say dogs we're gonna have uh, images that has dogs in it okay so let's make this an empty folder again okay let's go here and we, we're gonna do everything again the same but this time I'm gonna say dogs I want dogs and say okay okay and again new folder but it's an empty now and here you go the same link remember this is the same link but this time I have chosen to set the AlexNet filter to look for dogs let's look inside what's going on and you can see that it gets us images of dogs now this is because it have a dog and a cat this is a little bit confusing of course for uh, the CNN but anyway you're certain that there is at least a dog inside it because uh, this is uh, the class that has been uh, recognized by the CNN okay but remember this is the same link this is the same website but you're looking for a certain class inside this images okay and here you go different images from the same website from the same link the same web page you see certain uh, different images that has dogs inside it now but the first didn't have now all of them has actually bulls cats and dogs because we have hit bits so maybe it has all of them but anyway the CNN can see the dog clearly so that's why we see it but when we hit cats we only got images with cats this one also has a rabbit in it so anyway okay. so the final thing I want to show you is how to create your own class now to do this you will find the folder called images inside images inside images you're gonna collect a group of the class you want to look for so here there are uh, images of birds I have collected some images for birds okay so uh, it doesn't have to be a lot but it should be more at least to more than 20 images because remember we are not actually uh, retraining the whole AlexNet we are just trying to look for certain classes and make them a new category so you don't ha this is very good about this you don't need a lot of images okay to look for uh, yeah leave this one it's okay so you need a small group not very big uh, like 100 images more than enough because you are not retraining the AlexNet you're just looking for a certain category so you can save it in your database when you look for something okay so inside the folder images collect a group not a lot of images for the class you're looking for here I am I wanted to look for birds so I have saved some images for birds and now all you have to do is this say add class AlexNet so when you run it it say what is the name of this class I say birds that's it and you hit but you, you need to have the images saved inside the folder images and that's it and you hit enter and that's it you leave it for a little bit and it now makes some tweaks in the final layer of the AlexNet and it makes this new class and that's it now you see the new classes of course you always have all images now you have the watch the building plants cats and dogs and you have one more which is birds this is the new class birds you can use this one uh, with the link like I did before and, and, and so on and this certain category is the one that's gonna be downloaded from uh, so this new category will be the one downloaded from the, uh, the, the website okay so I guess that's it for this one guys now you will find the, the, the link for all these codes with everything the images the, the new the everything you will find it in the link in description please like and subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching